What is going on fellow outlaws, outlaw Gary here and in today's video we are showcasing a money method similar to one I posted in the past but this one is a little bit different with the twist. Of course if you guys do enjoy the video make sure you guys drop a like and if you're new around here hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell to get notifications. Now everybody knows about the spots outside of San Denis. Right here in the blue water marsh there are tons of spoonbills and birds for you to shoot down and collect their delicious delicious beautiful little feathers now as you guys can see in front of me there's about five birds right there on top of that there's also a few birds right here right over that area like right there you guys can see them right there now the goal is to shoot all these birds here while also taking care of the other birds as well the more birds you can collect the more money you can make the more feathers the better it is for your pocket so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try our best to shoot all these birds without scaring off the birds over there so let's give this a go real quick here we go that's an alligator we don't want to shoot the alligator oh we don't want the alligator we want there we go okay here we go no we don't want the alligator no our plan did not work because these freaking alligators dudes these freaking alligators you see the biggest issue with bird hunting is the fact that if you are too far away from the birds that you shoot down you don't get credit for those birds and it's sort of an inconvenience because then you have to go find the birds like you see how there's a bird right there sometimes they won't appear in your mini map you have to like run close to the bird where you think you shot the bird and then find it like that. And honestly, it's a lot of extra work. So what we're gonna do in this video is showcase Bird Central. We're gonna go to the hot spot of birds, the plethora of bird poundage. And look at all these birds right here. These, I freaking, oh, I missed all those pelicans right there. Dang it. It's because I have these lock on, like it locks onto everyone that's so close. And it really ruins the ability for us to make some solid cash, but it's okay, all right? Together we can accomplish anything. And it looks like one of the, the posses I'm a part of was just reformed. Ooh, look at that. Our honor level was increased. Oh, I feel such like, I feel like a solid member of society right now. Some may argue that fishing is more profitable than bird hunting due to the fact that you never really run into the issues I just ran into by shooting other things you don't want to shoot. And you know, in some some sense, I can agree to it. I, I think to some degree in some areas, bird hunting is less valuable than others and fishing is more profitable. Look at this. Get down, mother trucker. Where are you going? Where are you going? But when you have a good like, when you get like a really, really good thing of like bird hunting going, you can get like a good amount of pelicans flying and shooting them out of the sky. Pelicans are the best money. They are just, they give you exotic bird meat and the pelican feathers actually go for pretty great money as well. Now in the last video I talked about with the deer, I posted it yesterday. I spoke about how if we had a hot spot for loons, that would be ideal. Where, where's this mother trucker going? Hey, come here. And uh, I asked you guys to look up some good loon spots that we could farm multiple loons. Now loon feathers give you a dollar 25 per feather i believe it was for a dollar 12 as you guys can see we got ourselves a little loon here now unfortunately these loons only fly in like so they only, they're solo dolo birds they don't fly in large flocks they, they you know they, they do their own thing um they give you regular bird meat but for some reason the loon feathers are just worth so much more money than like anything else i don't know why i don't know why those birds are uh are so valuable so if we can find like a large amount of birds ooh, it's gonna be money it's gonna be money but apparently the hot spot that everyone's been talking about are these islands right here right outside San Denis apparently I've been missing out on this massive bird farming train that you guys have been talking about that there's a lot of birds that hang out in this area now anytime I've ever come here I find myself almost being eaten by alligators not really rolling in the birds but you guys are saying that there's a lot of birds that fly above head I do see I just hear birds fly away no we're good I do see a lot of birds that well they were there until I moved my camera which is one thing I really hate oh oh my Jesus you see I almost died I almost died oh hello Ravens really aren't worth it, gotta be honest. Ravens really aren't worth my bullets. The flight feathers aren't too bad. The Western Raven feathers give you about 45 cents. But this area right now, as is, pretty dead. A lot of alligators here we can farm, but I'm just not interested in the alligators. Sir, please don't eat me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, mister. So I believe for this spot to be very effective, it's gotta be a certain time in the day. Right now it's very early morning, and unfortunately I came here during the night, so it didn't allow the birds to really spawn and fly overhead. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually go into town, or actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna go closer towards uh, this side of things and see if we can get the birds to spawn with our little method we showed you guys the other day. Now for some reason this, this works, 
Not sure why. When you throw down predator bait, it makes birds and stuff respawn. I don't know why that's a thing, but it is. We're gonna give it a shot in this location too. If this can get birds to respawn like it does deer, that would be cool. But I don't know if that's a thing. Now we have two birds on the back on our horse right now. Ideally, I would like to get more birds, but for some reason, ah! Oh! Let's go, baby. Expert marksman here. I was in the seat. Yeah. Let's freaking go, baby. You may be wondering, Garrett, you're just shooting crows, but these crows are worth about a dollar a pop. That's right. Your boy just made bank. I just made about seven bucks right here. Mm -hmm. Now you wonder, like, Garrett, how is that possible? These crow carcasses are only worth 60 cents. Well, that's where I have to tell you, sir. You're wrong. You are wrong. And I'll show you why you're wrong. I, I described this in a previous video. Show, hey, get in my pocket. I showcased it in a previous video where I talked about uh, breaking down animals. Now that's, that may sound weird for new viewers. Like, Garrett, what does that mean? Lucky enough for you, I'm here to describe it in full detail. So a crow a carcass and any carcass you throw in your inventory that's a bird is normally worth about 60 cents. But if done correctly, these birds can actually bring you a pretty penny. Is that a loon? That is a loon. That's a loon. Hey, no. We missed out on our little loon. Come over here. He's gone, dudes. That that loon is gone. Is it sad that I can tell how birds fly? And I know which ones are which. Pretty pretty sad. Little secret. If you don't want to wait for the alligator to be skinned, you just oh. Never mind. Yeah, there you go. You just get your horse next to it. I was like, it didn't work, but it did work. You get your horse right next to it, you don't have to skin the whole alligator. It just skins it right away instantly. So I'm gonna throw this bad boy on there like that. I'm gonna throw this pelican on there just like that. Now we're gonna hope a train doesn't come and demolish my freaking horse. But check this out. So I, I picked up, I don't know, like eight crows, seven crows, actually eight crows. Now, if I break down these crows in the bottom right, you see holding X, I get two crow feathers. That's worth 60 cents. Plus the gamey bird meat, plus flight feathers. Now, unfortunately, the flight feathers I can't sell. A loon. Hey, that's a robin. <clears throat> I meant, I knew that. <gasps> They're flying in twos. No, there's two loons. Hey, let's go. We just made so much money. I feel like I just I just got the lotto. Oh, big bucks, big bucks. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, all right. No, not that great. Dudes, you didn't make that much money. Yeah, one thing you do have to remember is that when you do have these raven carcasses, don't break them down like I did until you sell your flight feathers. Super important to remember that because if you don't do that, then you're going to be losing money. Oh, baby, let's go. Easy money right there. There's a vulture that just flew overhead. And there's a new method I've seen people talk about in my Discord of stacking carcasses. It doesn't work as well as everyone makes it seem to be, but... I've seen people talk about it a lot. Stacking carcasses and just waiting for large birds to, to come. I've tried it and I haven't had huge success with it, but maybe you guys can give it a go and just wait for vultures like this to come on by and then kill the said birds when they land. It's just that these large birds are not very common in this specific area. You'll see more ravens and things of that nature, but you're gonna grab this bad boy and we're gonna throw him on our horse. We're gonna replace the, the blue heron with the turkey vulture, with the turkey vulture. Are you freaking, why didn't he jump? Why didn't he, oh, it was all part of the plan. <laughs> all right, good job, Thanos. Good teamwork, brother. You guys, he planned that. That's how it was supposed to go down. He was like, Garrett, I got this good idea. I'm gonna make you fall here. And then when the birds flying over, you take them out. And I was like, I didn't, I didn't hear him tell me that plan. So once we got to the bridge, you know, it didn't work out for me very well because I just didn't hear the plan. But now, now we are in business. We're gonna skin all these ducks. Now, unfortunately, ducks are not worth a lot of money, but each duck will net me around 50 to 65 cents, depending on how many feathers I get. So it's not terrible money. But it's just not like, hey, I'm about to be a billionaire, you know? Uh, and I also just realized because I turned around, a lot of the ducks I killed just despawned. So you gotta love it. You gotta, I hate, I hate that. I don't even know why that's a thing, dude. If you shoot freaking birds out of the sky and you're like not in radar's distance, they should not despawn. Like why, Rockstar? Why? I, I'm taking out my anger on this freaking alligator, you see? Why is that a thing? This poor alligator did not have to die, but because of the circumstances, that's what we're faced with. So before we go sell everything, we are gonna go swoop on by to the the bird islands that you guys call them. And I don't see any birds here. I, I haven't seen any birds spawn here since we arrived. And I don't know if, I see a ton of birds that are flying away right now. We can kill these real quick, okay? Okay, nice little cluster of birds there, all gone. Now I think I already have all the feathers for these herons already. I won't be able to sell them, but 
should be okay. I just, wait, there is, there's one specific bird that I can't think of right now. Is it the, uh, wait, is it heron plumes? What's the one bird you can't sell the feathers to? Someone remind me in the comment section. I don't remember. Might be the spoonbills. I can't remember which one it is. The egrets. The egrets? I don't remember. There's one bird that you guys can see in the comment section that is just the worst to shoot because they hate you. And if that's the case, you don't want to shoot birds that hate you because, well, you won't make any money. So if you like money, don't shoot the one that is commented in the comment section the most. Because all the birds with me right now are a, a big jumbled mess. For some reason, I don't know which one it is. All right, I'm getting word back that it's the egrets. I got some special uh, powers telling me that it's the egrets. Oh my... It's Christmas! It's Christmas! Christmas has come early! Money, brothers. Money. Oh. My. Money. Now, here's the problem. I just killed all these pelicans, and I can't get all these feathers because there's just too many of them. I won't be able to carry all these feathers. I need to have a bigger satchel, bro. I should be able to upgrade my satchel to carry, like, 50 feathers because if I'm out there, you know, grinding these feathers, I should be able to take them. Like, feathers don't even take up that much space. But these pelicans are so good for money, and I cannot believe we won't be able to sell them. And we got some... Oh, we got some perfect ones. I'm gonna replace the good pelican we have on my horse with this perfect pelican. Like, maybe, like, Garrett, they're just pelicans. Yeah. Yes, but pelicans are exotic birds. You see? Exotic bird meat. And that's all we're currently getting from these birds now. Rest in mother truck in peace. Because that sucks. We got all these pelicans. We can't even use them. Get off my freaking pelicans, you scumbags. You know what? You guys are gonna die. All right. So... I'm gonna get as much exotic bird meat as I can since they're here. And each pelican only gives you one instead of other types of meat that gives you multiple meat depending on the animal. For example, if you kill a gator, you get, depending on the, the quality, you get different amounts. So if it's like poor, you get one. If it's good, you get two. If it's uh, perfect, you get three. But with bird meat, not enough meat on the bird. When I was younger, I was like that. I didn't have enough meat on my bones. Now, I got enough meat to feed a whole family. Probably two. And we just killed two loons, so it's been a good day. So what's great about this is that, as you guys saw, we started in the morning. It's now 8 p.m. in game, so it's been about 10 minutes of us farming. But we're gonna see now how much money we're walking away with in game. We started about, I would say about 8 a.m., 9 a.m., maybe a little bit after that. Regardless, we have some pretty good pickaway from these adventures. Now, what's also great about bird hunting, comparative to fish farming, is the fact that if you do get grief while you are are taking your animal to the butcher it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day you have the feathers oh shoot holy that freaking wagon came out of nowhere you have the feathers in your satchel you should be good to go where if you are fishing you have to take the fish back to the butcher the chance you'll get grief like right now if someone were to shoot me yeah it would suck but it'd be like yeah whatever like i have all the feathers i can sell so right now at this current moment i have fifteen hundred dollars so five one thousand five hundred and sixty four bucks we're gonna see how much we walk away with after selling all the day's profits and of course there are other ways to make lots of money i think one of the best ways right now the video i uploaded the other day farming the braithwaite mansion that's good money dude that is real good money so 1564 let's see how much we end up with i'm hoping we hit 1600 that's a that's very fair i think it's very easy to do so right away brothers we got the carcasses to sell we got the perfect pelican carcass selling for 375 now the pelican is like half the size of the vulture and it sells for like a whole dollar more so i should have probably swapped out this vulture but there you guys go pelicans are the way to go 375 easy cash so we'll sell the perfect pelican par carcass we'll sell the perfect vulture carcass and we'll sell the perfect alligator skin in just carcasses and loan dudes we've made some pretty good money so that's not terrible the alligator teeth we got will sell all these for a dollar sixty. Not great money, but not terrible money. The vulture feathers, though, sell for pretty good bank. A dollar twenty each, making it three dollars and sixty cents for three. Now we have the pelican feathers as well. I want to show you guys that real quick. Now the pelican feathers also sell for a dollar twenty. So overall, like pelicans are the best freaking birds ever they sell for such great money as carcass and for great money for the feathers a dollar 20 we're making 360 Let's here then we have the crow carcasses from the birds that are flying overhead we're gonna save these as well as these little carcasses right here so we're gonna save all those we're gonna get rid of all the meat just because well i don't need it right now and then we have the raven feathers 45 cents each something too crazy i killed the random toad we're out there for 30 cents the plumes 
we get a dollar fifty each which is really good money as well we're making 15 bucks off the plumes so easy money right there light feathers you're always gonna have max light feathers doing this method because you're just farming so many birds but uh i have some random geese feather 45 cents each which honestly is super underrated uh spoon bill plumes these are the money makers a dollar 95 for three you get five dollars and 85 cents for three that's like Mm, okay. that's some good money that is some real good money and there's actually some really good spoon bill locations i want to go over in a future video that i think i can show off that i learned of last video i made here on the channel i never actually I never even uploaded the video it's a stranger the stranger house I'll, there'll be more information about it soon uh the loons like i mentioned a dollar 20 for those little birds each bird gives you a like one feather depending on the carcass so we're making ten dollars and eighty cents right there duck feathers a dollar 20 pelican Dude, feathers another dollar 20 each making us 12 bucks we're gonna get rid of all this game meat we don't really need it as well as the animal fats the plump bird meat and the exotic bird meat sells for 60 cents each making us four dollars and 20 cents in just meat the comparison to that is the big game meat for 75 cents each we're making four dollars and 50 cents we honestly should have killed at least five gators while we were out there but it's okay and then we have all these little carcasses left now we're already at 1644 we started this off with with 1584 so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys really quickly if i were to sell just these good crow carcasses i would make three dollars and sixty cents so let's check out how much money i make just from these crow carcasses not selling them as is but breaking them down as you might be a little mind blown and look at that we also got a trade award so let me let me do that real quick oh it was 1564 we start off with 1564 so here's the good crow carcasses and we're gonna break down each of them until we have 10 light feathers. Each good crow carcass will give us five, or, or sorry, two. So we just gotta be very cautious of how many we break down as we only had five good crow carcasses. So we'll have exactly 10 light feathers and crow feathers. So we should be good. So now I have 10 flight feathers. 10 crow feathers and then i have two crows left so we're only going to be selling the feathers right now so earlier i mentioned if we were to sell it all we would get in the upwards of like 640 or something if i were to sell the crow feathers that's three dollars and then the flight feathers a dollar fifty so i'm making 450 there plus the gamey bird meat which i'm getting a dollar 25 so i'm making extra money just like free money just from not even selling all the crows yet we still have one more crow we can sell so every single crow that you break down you make an additional about 50 cents or so it's actually really good money and it adds up over time so Let's make sure you guys it. just take advantage of it it literally takes like two seconds to break okay. them down and on top of that every time you break it down you have more things to sell the butcher allowing you to get more trade awards so it's just a win-win all around i'm gonna break down all these birds now now we're gonna sell all the feathers we got from all those birds we just broke down we're gonna make upwards of a dollar each stack we have here and to wrap all this up we have now made more we made over a hundred dollars in our run we made we start off with 1546 and we're at 1660 so and you guys saw from the start to finish of how much of this run you would make now this is a super easy run and many of the things that went right for me can go super wrong for you guys an example there could be different birds that fly above and there could be griefers be very i guess cautious of who's around and if you guys ever have any issues with the griefers of course we're a community here on the channel make sure you guys link up and hunt together if needed just so you guys aren't out there solo dolo and risking losing all your hunting efforts because of some idiot hopefully you guys did enjoy this video here on the outlaw gary if you guys did hit that subscribe button and uh drop a like if you liked it so i'll see you guys later on today with a brand new video later guys